Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Gabby and today I am back with the second part of my massive perfume haul. This time we have, I think, 13 perfumes, yeah, 13. In the first part we had 12. If you didn't check that video, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box and basically I'm just gonna tell you what I got, what I think about them, if I like them, if I don't, the notes, lasting power, projection and all of that. So, before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let's jump in. The first scent I'm having here is from Dior and this one is Gris Dior. Very popular scent. I had a sample of this. I knew exactly how it smells. I really liked it, but I wasn't sure if I want a full bottle of just because um, I couldn't find the 40 ml. I, it was online, it was just 125 and then the 200 ml and I definitely do not need that. So I just went to Selfridges, asked them, do you have the 40 ml? And guess what? They have 40 ml in all of the perfumes. So if you don't want a big bottle, just go there and ask for the smallest one. I don't think they have them on display, but they actually have them in the back. So just ask and you can get just a 40 ml. So, Gridior, this is the packaging, this is the bottle. Very simple, I like it. Magnetic cap, absolutely love that. Uh, let me tell you about the notes. We have rose, oak moss, patchouli, bergamot, amber, cedar, and sandalwood. love it love it love it love it it's very you're getting the rose you're getting something fresh and that's definitely coming from the bergamot and it's very earthy this is how i describe the scent i don't have anything in my collection that smells like this but it's in the same time it's not the most unique scent ever it's not a statement it's unique but it's not a, it's not a statement scent if that makes any sense it's not bold, okay? It's very everyday appropriate. Um, I think most people are gonna like it. And it smells very, very expensive. It has good lasting power, good sillage. It's not beast mode or it's not a skin set. It's not a skin set either. It's a good one. Like lasting power sillage, that, that all right, that good. But the scent is very, very good. It just smells expensive. For me, this is how I imagine um, I don't know, the Dior department to smell like. It smells luxurious. That's it. I really like it. It's a little bit soapy at the same time. But mostly it's like rose, like a wine rose, not a sweet rose. Okay, don't think it's a sweet rose. It's not like a wine rose with something earthy. And some bergamot in there i really like it i think it's very classy i think it's um all year round you can wear this one spring summer fall winter it's not too strong it's not too weak i really like it so green dior from dior i eat our first scent the next one that we have in here comes from marty mikalif and this one is not ebony i wanted to try this perfume for the longest time and they actually sent to me this scent so i didn't buy this i can't open the box come on come on here we go. That is a beautiful bottle. Uh, what I really like about Emi Calif, they never ask for a video or anything like that. Uh, they just they just asked me, do you want to try one of our scents? I said, yeah, I want to try this. So they sent me a full bottle and I'm very, very grateful for that. And let me tell you, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it might be one of the best vanillas in my collection now. I'm a little bit annoyed because I already filmed a video with best vanillas and this one definitely should be in that video, but I didn't have the scent uh, back when I filmed that, that video. So, Not Ebony from Emi Calif has opening mandarin orange and citruses, middle floral notes and jasmine, and the dry down have vanilla, rum, cognac, amber, and sandalwood. This perfume... The vanilla in this is very sugary. It's boozy. You know what? I was expecting this to be way more boozy than it actually is. I was expecting to get something similar maybe with Angel Share from Killian. But it's definitely not as boozy as that one. And you're getting the, the orange. Definitely. 100% you're getting the orange. It reminds me slightly of Orchid Ebony from Van Cleef. So if you like that scent, I think you're going to love this one. This one is just more boozy yeah it's just more boozy that's it 
you're getting the rum and the cognac, but the base is kind of the same. It's a very sweet, sugary vanilla, slightly powdery with some orange in it. Absolutely love this. Um, not even, it's not a beast mode, okay? So don't think it's gonna project that much. It's not a skin scent either, but it's just in the middle, okay? But it's so good. It's almost like creamy. It's a beautiful, beautiful vanilla. Absolutely love it. So glad I have this one in my collection. Love the bottle, love the presentation. And the scent is good. It's a very good vanilla. So, not a vanilla from M. Mikalif. The next one that we have in here comes from Marty Mikalif again. And this one I actually purchased. And this one is Ananda Dolce. I had a sample of this one. Look at the beautiful presentation. Like, come on, just look at this. I had a sample of this and I immediately knew that I need a full bottle. And here it is. We have a full bottle of Ananda Dolce. Notes. We have opening peach and almond. Middle we have almond blossom and white flowers. And in the, in the dry down we have tonka bean, wine mask and amber. This perfume is very weird for me. Because most people on Fragrantica were seeing that they're getting the peach very, very strong and it's extremely um, strong on the peach and for me it smells like a fizzy pear i don't know why some people in the comments were saying that they are getting apple i can see that but i'm not getting the peach i'm getting pear i have no idea why i tested obviously on my skin i wore this one on paper now i'm not getting the peach i'm getting pear it's something i have to be super honest with you it's something in the opening that i don't particularly like but it's there just five seconds i don't know what it is it's almost a little bit alcoholic in the opening but it's just five seconds five seconds and then what i'm getting it's a fizzy pear i don't know why it might be just me it might be just my nose but i really like it i, I really like it like i told you immediately when i tested the sample uh, i was like yep i need this in my collection love the bottle love the scent this is gonna be perfect i know it's not spring anymore but for next spring this one is going to be absolutely perfect also for the summertime because it's not too sweet and it almost has like a freshness it's sweet don't get me wrong it's sweet but it's not like extremely sweet it's not sickling sweet love it love it love it love it and it has very good lasting power at least on me i really like it so another dolce from m mikalif next perfume it's one that I wanted for the longest time and basically everyone on YouTube was talking about this one not just this perfume in particular, the entire line and when I tested this I was like, yep, I need a full bottle of I'm talking about from Roja I know, I can't believe I actually have a Roja Reckless This is the Essence du Parfum and this is the beautiful presentation and here we have the bottle to be honest with you when i saw the bottle online i wasn't the biggest fan i think um i think it was just the color that i didn't like but in reality this is absolutely stunning reckless has a billion notes so i'm not gonna tell you all of the notes i'm just gonna put them on the screen here but it's good if you like hear me out if you like love don't be shy from killian you're gonna absolutely love reckless for me this one is the summer version of love don't be shy let me just spray this one. Look at the mist. Beautiful. <sighs> Amazing. Like I said, if you love the love, don't be shy. This is everything. It's just lighter, but it's not skin scent or anything like that. This projects on my skin. This has good lasting power on my skin. It's just lighter and it's more rounded. It's more well blended. I've heard some people saying that Love Don't Be Shy is getting artificial on their skin, especially in the dry down, because that one is looking very, very sweet. It's like gourmand. This one is not getting as sweet. It's just lighter and it's definitely more well blended. It's the most of, it's like the more, it's Love Don't Be Shy getting sophisticated, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it's getting more sophisticated and elegant and refined refined that's the word that i'm looking for it's love the mishai refined love it that's everything that i have to say i absolutely love the scent absolutely love the bottle presentation everything Ugh. 
why do i have to like roja i don't know because it's so expensive but their things are good okay what they create is good and oh and by the way i didn't receive this one i paid i paid for this okay so it's not sponsored anything like that i paid for this one <sighs> love it love it love it absolutely love it so reckless from roja well the next perfume wasn't planned at all when i tested reckless from roja and when i bought that scent they gave me a sample kit with all of the perfumes from their essence collection and i just loved all of them like it's not fair i loved all of them that all absolutely amazing but one that i really liked in particular was 51 essence de parfum exactly same uh, packaging presentation bottle everything this one just says 51 and it's so good i love these bottles I, I i just love i i want all of them now i just want all of them they're beautiful 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 trust me if you don't like them on the video go to selfages go to your perfume counter where they have roja and have a look just have a look of these bottles because they're absolutely stunning again i paid for this unfortunately uh but it's good and i don't regret anything 51 has um, even more notes than Reckless. I've seen that it's something very common with Roja perfumes to put like a billion notes, but I don't mind, I don't care. They smell absolutely fantastic. Oh, I, can't, I can't smell this. They smell absolutely fantastic and oh, I think I like this one more than Reckless. I have no idea how to describe this one to you because it has so many notes. It's definitely a floral scent. It's slightly powdery, slightly fresh, but it's sweet and so feminine and so elegant. I think this one is the most elegant and feminine perfume that I have in my collection. I absolutely adore this thing. Oh, it's stunning. This is not as strong as Reckless, I have to say. And I've noticed um, also Enigma and I think Elixir, they were the same as this, they weren't the strongest perfumes but they're good but they're good and i'm not saying that weak i'm not saying that um skin scent or anything like that but they're not as strong as the other ones danger was very strong scandal was very strong these are just moderate okay they're just like regular but it's so good i, I know I'm, I'm really sorry i don't know how to explain this it's just so good it's just so well blended i'm completely in love and i want all of the other ones because like i said i loved all of them if you want me i still have the um the sample kit i can make a video with all of the perfumes from the essence collection and you can decide which one you want to try which one you want to buy but they're all so 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 good so yeah that's everything i have to say about this i i don't know how to how i really don't know how to explain this because it's that good i would say it's mainly not white flowers no it's just it's just flowers but it has so many other things in it it's like sweet, fresh, earth in the same time. It has so many things in it. It's beautiful. That's it. It's beautiful. That's everything I have to say. 51 from Roja. The next two perfumes that we have in here are from a company that I really, really want to buy a bottle from, but I couldn't find the scent. I've tested so many scents from this brand and none of them called my name. None of them was, yes, I want this perfume in my collection until... Like I said, went to Selfridges, got uh, Reckless from Roja, and obviously I had to test other perfumes. And I tested from Amouage, I think four or five, but two perfumes. I fell in love with them and I had to have them. I got these ones from All Beauty, that are on sale, so if you want them, go on All Beauty. The first one that we have is Love Tuberose. Let me tell you about this. I thought, I thought that I found the perfect tuberose scent and that is BDK Tuberose Imperial. No, this is the, is the best, is the perfect tuberose scent. Love tuberose from Amouage. Let me tell you about the notes. The notes are just uh, amazing. We have opening tuberose, gardenia and jasmine. Sounds good. Middle, whipped cream and vanilla. Amazing. And dry down sandalwood and cedar. When I'm telling you that, when I first smelled this one, I was just, <gasps> like, that was my reaction. I'm annoyed I didn't feel my reaction, but obviously I had 
no idea that I'm gonna love this one that much but I wish I had my reaction recorded because if you like tuberose you have to check this one out this is the creamiest tuberose you'll find it's sweet but it's not bubblegum it's very realistic but it's not that animalic tuberose it's a very sweet creamy tuberose it has a texture of the whipped cream that's it imagine a scented whipped cream that smells like tuberose honestly it feels like let me just spray on my skin it feels like you put whipped cream on your skin that is the texture and then obviously you're getting the tuberose it's absolutely divine that's everything that i have to say it's absolutely divine it has a good lasting power it has good sillage the bottle is beautiful the scent is just stunning yep this is the best tuberose do i need that bdk i don't think so i'm not sure i'm not sure because this is everything if you thought that uh, bdk tuberose imperial it's uh, creamy nope this is so creamy so sweet so oh, everything people are saying that from this collection i think this is um garden collection love something i can't remember um people are saying that this one is the best and yes it's absolutely amazing so love tuberose from amouage it's an amazing amazing tuberose scent and i highly recommend you go and check this one out if you like and if you love obviously tuberose the next one, like I said, is from the same collection and it's again from Amouage and this one is Blossom Love. Very similar packaging, the bottle is just pink, same bottle, but just different color. And this one, again, I wasn't expecting to love that much. Like, I absolutely adore the scent and people on Fragrantica are... Some of them are saying that yes, this is amazing, some of them are saying that this is very scratchy and I don't understand how and why because this is absolutely stunning for me so we have notes blossom love opening heliotrope and bergamot middle we have amaretto cherry blossom ylang ylang and rose and the drag down we have tonka bean vanilla suede and amber this perfume i love it absolutely love it you're getting Amaretto definitely and then you're getting some flowers and it has a freshness I think it's from from the bergamot not really getting ylang it's like amor, am, amaretto with some flowers and then but it's sweet it's like super sweet and then something fresh in the opening not in the opening on top something fresh on top amaretto with flowers and then something fresh on top you're getting the heliotrope and the heliotrope has also that almondy vanilla almondy powdery touch it's so good like i said some people are saying that they really don't like the scent i really don't know why for me it's beautiful so with this i think you you have to go and test it on the skin first same thing i got it from all beauty because this is like extremely expensive go on all beauty they have it on sale but don't blind buy this because like i said some people are saying that this is a no-no for them. For me, it's, it's a yes, yes. It's, it's, it's good. And same story with um, Love, Love Blossom as with Love Tuberose. Very good lasting power, very good sillage. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. Yes, I'm not really getting Cherry Blossom, to be honest. I have no idea how Cherry Blossom smells like. For me, it's Amaretto with some flowers and something fresh on top. And that's it. So, Love Blossom. Blossom Love from Amouage. And now we have six perfumes, yes, six perfumes from Penhaligons. I got in here a perfume that I tested, I think, two years ago, and I really, really wanted the scent, but it's so damn expensive, and I was like, nope, I'm not paying that much, until someone was selling it, so I was like, yes, that's mine. Changing Constance from the Portrait Collection. Love the bottle stunning presentation i don't have the box for this but i don't i don't really mind the scent like i said i tested two years ago and i've seen here on youtube quite a few videos about this one and it's just 
it's so good this one has let me tell you about the notes we have opening cardamom and pimento middle we have caramel and salt and in the dry down is vanilla cashmerian and tobacco this is definitely you're getting the caramel and then you're getting something very spicy it's like a spicy sweet spicy caramel with some vanilla it's like gourmand it's almost gourmand but it's uh, it's also spicy and kind of like peppery in the same time like it tingles your nose but it's so good like this in the not in the summer what i'm talking about in the fall and winter this is gonna be absolutely amazing what i don't really like about the scent is that it doesn't project it's quite close to the skin and why just why because the scent is so good and i think that everyone around you should be able to smell this it's so good like it's so good mm, the caramel in this and it's peppery it's uh, it's very very good absolutely love this you have you have to go and test this one like I said, it's extremely expensive, especially because um, it doesn't project. So why are you that expensive? Yes, I know scent is beautiful, bottle is beautiful, but it doesn't really project. But overall, if you like gourmands, if you want a gourmand with a touch, okay, with a spicy touch, but not too much, check this one out. Changing Constance from Penhaligans. The next one I'm having here is again from Penhaligans, and they actually had on their website a quiz so if you had to match two pictures and you could win a full bottle of one of the portrait collection perfumes they didn't have the most popular ones they had i think the least popular ones but they retail for 202 pounds and you could win them for free if you spent 75 pounds and obviously i had to win and i won twice so the first one that i got is flora this is the bottle absolutely stunning this one it's a citrus perfume i never thought i'm gonna have a 202 pounds citrus perfume but it was free so why not flora has just three notes we have opening citruses middle mask and dry down ambroxan this one this one starts with like a bitter orange bitter mandarin orange maybe just some regular orange some lime and then it dries down to this beautiful, absolutely stunning citrus mask scent. Usually, I don't like mask in my perfumes, but in this one, somehow it works. Will I pay the uh, full price, £202? Absolutely not. Just because this one doesn't really project. Yes, you can smell it for the first hour maybe, and after that it's getting closer to the skin and... It's pretty weak, I have to tell you, but the scent is beautiful. For a citrus scent, it's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it's slightly bitter, bitter in the opening, but then the dry down is getting sweeter and it's stunning. If you like citrus perfume, maybe check this one out. I will not pay the full um, retail price, but you do you, and it's a beautiful one. It's a very beautiful one. Very simplistic very um realistic the citruses in this are very realistic they don't smell artificial and very refreshing very very refreshing and appropriate for uh, spring and summer so flora from penhaligans the next one that again i want from the website is helen this is a tuberose scent and i have to be super honest with you when i got this perfume i wasn't the biggest fan i really like the bottle the cap is uh, is sharp i mean this is a weapon okay this is very sharp and this one has again just three notes opening mandarin orange middle tuberose and dry down oozy notes this ow it actually hurts to take the cap out uh this one i really like it now when i first got it i didn't like it just because the mandarin orange is bitter and also the tuberose the tuberose in this reminds me a little bit of the tuberose from Marfa, from Memo Paris. I had a sample of that one and I didn't like it at all. It was just way too bitter for me. But in this one, see, now I like it. It's, 
it's not your bubblegum tuberose, it's not your very animalic tuberose, it's a bitter tuberose and again very refreshing very appropriate for the spring and summer uh, it's not my favorite i have to be super honest but i do i do like it now i didn't like it but i do like it now i don't know what changed i think what i like about this is the freshness and that when you spray it you really you really um refresh yourself i do like it i do like it now it's a different type of tuberose. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Again, same story, doesn't really last, doesn't really project. So, 202 pounds, no thank you, but for free, why not? So, Helen from Van Halligans. And now from the regular collection, we have the favorite. Got here just a 30 ml, beautiful bottle, stunning presentation. I absolutely love this. Very feminine. I know that also their... Um, male perfumes they come in the same type of packaging for me they're very feminine but i don't know i don't care if you like them you like them uh fa the favorite is a scent that smells pink that's it but it's so good it's so refined and sophisticated and young in the same time it's it's gorgeous it's nothing wow but it's gorgeous where, where do I have my notes? Now here, in here. So, the favorite has opening violet, mandarin, orange, and freesia. Neither we have mimosa, iris, and jasmine. And right now we have musk, ambroxan, and sandalwood. You are getting the violet and the mimosa uh, and some freesia in the background. I don't really like freesia normally, but in this it's not that strong. Maybe some orange in the same time, but overall, overall it smells pink light sweet and fresh and slightly powdery yeah it's powdery as well but it's so beautiful i think this one in the springtime is going to be absolutely stunning again it's not a statement fragrance but it's beautiful and it smells very very young and classy and elegant in the same time so the favorite from van Halligans. the next one that we have is artemisia this one I think this one is my favorite, maybe, not sure. I mean, between this one and the favorite. This one has notes, opening nectarine and green notes. Middle, we have violet, vanilla, lily of the valley, tea, jasmine, and green apple. And then the dry down, we have musk, sandalwood, oak moss, and amber. This scent, it's slightly fruity, probably from that nectarine. It has something green, okay? It's very powdery and sweet and refreshing in the same time. I think this one is going to be absolutely, again, beautiful for the springtime, even though it's powdery. Um, it doesn't smell like an old lady powdery uh, fluorescent. No, it smells very young again, but it's powdery. It's so good. I don't know how to describe this. It's so, so good. It reminds me a little bit, I have to be honest, of uh, Borea. It's here. If you can see it, from Tiziana Terenzi. That one, I said, is the same. It's like a powdery uh, floral perfume, but again, very appropriate for the spring and summer. It has a freshness. Same story with this. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Love it. Artemisia from Penhaligans. And the last one that we have from Penhaligans and from this massive haul, it's Luna. Luna has opening lemon, bergamot, and bitter orange. In the middle, we have rose, juniper, berries, and jasmine. And the dry down, we have balsamic fur, musk, and amber grease. This perfume might be the most citrusy and zesty perfume that I have in my collection. Yeah, it's very, very citrusy, green. But I really like it. Again, extremely refreshing. Citrusy and green. It smells like, I don't know, morning in the springtime. Really like it. Really like it, but I do like the other two more. It's not sweet. It's not sweet. It's a little bit sweet, but not sweet. I do really like it. If you like citrusy perfumes, if you want something very, very refreshing and cold i would say this one is a cold scent check this one out luna from penhaligans 
and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below if you tested any of these perfumes if you like them if you don't and that was it with my massive haul i know i know this video was absolutely huge but like i said that's it i'm on no buy right now and you're not gonna see any hauls okay i promise you i'm you're not gonna see any hauls i'm trying my best so that was it for today thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give the big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye